Okay, so I brought a friend. Yes, it's holiday season, so Mr. Nutcracker is back, and we have come to answer some questions. Well, we actually don't have any questions, but we've just come to talk about Jay-Z because he gave an interview. That was great. So if you don't know, basically Jay-Z has a whole exhibit that's out at the Brooklyn Museum right now. I think it's still there. Um, And he gave an interview on CBS Morning, and I'll link the interview in the description box. I just kind of want to talk about what Jay-Z has meant to me personally. I don't really consider Jay-Z a rapper. I don't really consider him strictly like a hip-hop artist, mostly because I have no respect for that art form. Um, I will say that beyond artists like Tupac, I feel like uh, there's something about Tupac and a lot of his activism and his personhood. Like there are Tupac interviews, like the interview Tupac gave when he went to talk to all those black people at the banquet and he was like you guys don't care about poor black people like that one or when he gave the interview about being wrongly accused of rape when he was in prison that one or when he talks about how um you know like he hopes that his uh that he encourages black women to not advocate for the black struggle simply because the black community will will bring you down as opposed to lift you up like all of those interviews i feel like they i uh, none of them really have to do with tupac's music specifically i do feel like a lot of his music was still rap and trap and sort of derogatory, but I think that him, his personhood transcended that. But I think that Jay Z's music, in a lot of ways, not all of it, I will say, like, is it the Blueprint 3? That album is really great. There's like the Black album that I think is really good. Um, maybe I'll actually go back and listen to some of the earlier albums to see if like any of them resonate with me at all. I just feel like I grew up in such a different way than Jay-Z. I don't know if there's any album I would say, like, (sighs) if I had to describe, like, three albums that maybe described my adolescent phase, I might say, like, probably Young the Giant, um, the self-titled album. Um, There's this album by The Bird and the Bee. That album, I think it's called The Bird and the Bee. It's, like, self-titled. Um, and probably like a Paramore album, the one with like Brick by Boring Brick, I think it's, uh, Brand New Eyes, maybe that one, maybe like TLC, um, Fan Mail, possibly that album, like a combination of like those four albums I feel like might describe my adolescence and things that I felt. Um, yeah, because even if I think about, like, my relationships with, like, guys or something, there's no album that really talks about shit that I went through. I don't feel, there's no, none of the black pop rap R&B girls, I've never heard any of them talk about any shit that I've been through at all. Like, it's not relatable at all. There's, like, a couple Rihanna songs that are, like, nice, but they still don't describe my experience at all like I was never a person who was unfaithful so that's not me so the all the good girl gone bad I like fresh off the runway I like the song a lot like when I was on the runway that song came out like after I was doing runway stuff so even then not really relatable in the time period um yeah so I don't know there's no album that maybe this is why I keep thinking about me making music. I like In My Bag by Justine Sky. I think that was really good. Um, anyway, if you're like unfamiliar with any of this stuff, I'll put some of it. I'll write it down in the description box. Anyway, so the cool thing about Jay-Z to me, to me, I think that he tells this. He's like a really good writer. And and that's why I keep continuing to talk about songwriting, why Nashville is so cool. If you are actually a person who's like who really likes listening to music and stories and like hearing these really good stories about, you know, from people and shit and you're like, oh, this is great. There are really good story storytellers in Nashville who are telling incredible stories like it is the home of country music. But um, really, they call it Music City because people are coming here and they're really telling stories stories in music and it's really cool so 
if you're trying to figure out a place to live that might resonate with you and you like love music, come to Music City. It's a really good city to live. Just got a job as a server. Go to any bar at night. You're going to hear music, live music, music from real artists. And if you want to write, you can write because you still have like eight hours every night. You can use to write. So you should do that. Um, anyway, moving on. Um, Jay-Z. The cool thing about Jay-Z, um, it's interesting to hear him tell these stories of like black Americanness, black American drug dealing, the streets, according to black Americans in Brooklyn specifically, um, kind of like poverty, all of these things about having growing up in a single family home being fatherlessness um fatherlessness being father that's not yeah um it doesn't sound like jay-z had any college experience you know um but um also i think it's kind of important to understand that like jay-z was like 30 i think when he put out his first album so he was already pretty much like an adult, right? When he was like getting into music. Um, that's a pretty mature place to start. Though I do, I mean, men mature way later than other people, but it is very interesting. So so even to think about that, and, and then he talks about it in the interview how like he was an independent artist. And I think there are some things about Jay- Jay-Z's later music videos and like the way that he chose to tell stories which were really about, um, I don't know why he was so into model culture. Like, Jay-Z was, it, like, he made hip-hop and model culture a thing. Like, now you guys see all, like, you can see all the fashion shows online. Like, every rapper now is talking about models. But, like, Jay-Z was actually, like, at fashion shows. He, like, Jay-Z, that's why you hear Kanye West talking about, like, he made the song Big Brother. It was talking about Jay-Z. Big brother, my big brother used to be J and Big's brother, who was hip hop brother, who was new ID fan, new ID fan, so let the story be. Okay, that was, I loved that version of Kanye West. I can't even, that version of Kanye West was everything. I don't know what happened to that version of Kanye West, but damn, like, Big Brother was incredible. And it, to me, it told this really great story of like mentorship and how like someone could just be out you know, doing their own thing. And then, you know, Kanye heard it and he was like, man, I want this guy to know my name. And I, I know how that feels. Cause I know I, I used to want to feel like that too. And I, I used to have all this admiration for, you know, my family members. I was like, wow, I hope they're proud of me, but you know, I don't feel that way anymore. And I, it feels so sad saying this, but I used to feel that way about Taj. I was just like, oh man, like what if, what if Taj like read something that I wrote and he felt like proud of me, but like, I'm sorry guys, I don't wanna I just wanna I just wanna be honest because I don't want people to have like false hope. I'm so sorry, like it's so painful. I'll say it this way, like I'm really It's really nice when people have mentors who are like kind to them and they can like they they wish the best for them and they want them to do well. And they support them. They try to make it better. But, like, that isn't the case for most people. And I don't want black women to think that that's how it is. Like, that has not been my experience at all. Like, there's never been in my entire life, like, a black male who has supported me ever. And even, like, actively right now, like, I honestly feel like... My brother, my cousins, they all are wishing that I would die. Like, they're actively hoping that I will die. So, I don't want you to be under this impression that, like, there are actual real mentors in this community. Because there's not. But, going, I'm so sorry. Going back to this, in an ideal world, like, what, what, Jay-Z was able to be for Kanye West was really beautiful because he was, like, actually able to be a mentor. And it was really nice. It was really nice. And, uh... (laughs) 
I'll finish this video later. I just I can't finish it right now.